This is how to fix your bad habits in Fortnite and get over that plateau. I didn't even realize I had a bad habit for years until I tried this technique. So let me show you what I was doing badly and how I fixed it. And I'm not joking, this is a literal five second fix that actually doubled my skill. And it revolves around where I was looking during fights. I know not everyone will have the same bad habit as I did, but I wanna show you mine as an example and then tell you how to identify your own bad habits. So let me ask you, when you're fighting, do you look at the enemy, at the crosshair, at where they're moving, or at the middle of the screen? Where do you actually look? And I'm genuinely asking, like comment below. But I ask because a lot of people don't know or they don't think about it, and I didn't know either. I thought I looked at my crosshair while playing, but I realized, no, that couldn't be it because my eyes are constantly moving and the crosshair is fixed onto the center of the screen. So where was I actually looking? I realized shortly after I was looking at where the enemy would be next and where I needed to build next and where I needed to edit next. I was kind of dragging my eyes across the screen to predict where they are. And that sounds good in theory since you're actively, you know, predicting things, but I realized that this was actually to my detriment. That's when I started focusing my eyes on exactly what I needed to do in that moment. If I was doing a corner edit, I stopped looking at where I needed to finish that edit or even looking at the enemy behind the wall who I'd shoot after I finished the edit. Instead, I started looking at the exact tile I needed to start on and wouldn't edit until I saw my crosshair on it. This made me go from missing half my edits to hitting almost 95% of them. And I'm so curious if it'll have the same effect for you guys. I'm not joking, I was hitting almost double the edits I was before. So I do wanna show you that before and after of me build fighting in creative so you can see the difference and then i want to show you real game examples of how this changed everything for me okay this is a clip that i chose because it proves i'm not purposely playing bad after the fact just to get a good clip for this video this is clearly an old clip and i'm still obviously not trash like i'm doing a triple edit but i can actually show you how many edits i miss in this build fight so here i have this guy boxed and i have his wall but then i miss two corner edits on him and he's able to take the wall back i would have been able to clean up that fight right there if i didn't miss either of those edits this next one i just made an unideal door edit so that sucks although i am able to hit two edits in a row after this but then i get stuck on the third one and don't confirm it for some reason even though i have edited on release on i have no idea what happened here so he's able to take the wall back and then get another piece in front of me from here i make a window edit to shoot this guy but since i'm already thinking ahead to my next step i don't even shoot and then mess up resetting the wall this is again why you need to be thinking and looking at the current step that you're doing i then mess up this next edit finally get through and at this point i'm just rushing at a face with my SMG and then I end up dying even though I could have finished this fight about three different times earlier. But then I started questioning myself, why was I missing the edits? The easy scapegoat, of course, is to blame your ping every time or your hardware, but in both of these instances, I had low ping and good hardware. I have a great keyboard I spent a lot of money on and I just upgraded my PC, so what gives? Why was I missing these edits? <laughs> Surely it's not my own skill, right? It must be Biden's fault then. No. In this instance, it was my skill that was holding me back. I know, surprising, it's truly shocking. So to anyone trying to identify their own bad habits, just start asking yourself, why is this happening to everything you do? And you'll start to identify a lot of bad habits, whether that is your edits, your aim, your rotations, etc. Like, I feel like in a lot of the Fortnite and just the gaming community, there's this common misconception that aim is all genetic. And unless you spend hours in Kovacs, you won't get better. But I fixed mine in five seconds because I asked myself the question of why is this happening? And the answer I came to is I was messing up my crosshair placement on the first tile of most edits and that led me to my fix of making sure my crosshair was on that first tile it wasn't necessarily my aim that was bad i was just looking in the wrong place and here is me now after focusing on that specific tip i was hitting all of my edits and landing real clips on these players i mean come on here's one of the ones that i was really proud of i don't miss a single edit in this fight i'm able to get height on this guy block him off with cones and then i make a quick edit and get some chip damage on him if this was old me i wouldn't have even risked going for a shot like that but i don't dwell on that and i keep moving on same thing for this next edit i flip the stare on him and get a big shot in something i wouldn't have done before and then i'm able to clean it up with a quick corner edit to finish him off these edits are somewhat exposing but i just had so much confidence and was able to hit the edits and my shots so quickly that he wasn't even able to react and just like that i was fixed after five seconds all these girls out here saying i can fix him i can fix him Bitch, no you can't, you're not the Lisan Al Jaib. The only thing that can do that is Fortnite tips and tricks. Now go shove some dirt, girl. But ask yourself, really, when something goes awry, why did whatever happened, happen? 
And I know I said this was a 5 second change, but it goes much deeper than that. Of course, switching where you are looking is a quick fix, but that simple fix changed everything else for me. And I want to show you that in real ranked games right now. So here we go. If you're enjoying so far, drop a like and invest in the channel. And if I've helped you identify a bad habit, please use code read the ninja or just another small creator's code to help out this growing community. But after identifying where I needed to be looking to hit these edits, it made me such a more confident fighter. You know, I've always had these moves and ideas in the back of my head that I'd like to do, but I was never able to actually hit them because I didn't have the technical skill because I was missing edits. But now I'm trying those moves and actually hitting Though. And I'm sure a lot of you have that Fortnite IQ like I do, but you just need to put it into effect now once you have the technical skill, and this change can do that for you. Okay, but let's see how different I was in real ranked games. So here's an in-game example I want to walk you through, and my gameplay improved so much more just because I was confident. I knew any situation I got into, I'd be able to edit myself out after learning this new trick. So I'm taking high ground with shockwave, shooting at people, getting people weak, and then I'm just in this guy's face with the gatekeeper shotgun. I actually hit all three shots, but they are only kind of on the corner so it didn't quite kill him and then I start making plays happen with other games before I learned this this is a part where I'd usually just go away and hide maybe try to find more shield but this time I'm actually confident in trying to finish these kills I only have 100 health so I'm not sure exactly what to do but then I think of an amazing play I see this guy down here looting the person he just killed and then I'm able to shockwave him away and then reclaim that which did have a flowberry phase and I'm able to get back to 100 shield this guy's pressuring me I miss my shot because I'm a little shaky but then I'm able to get to 100 shield and I'm still playing super confident. From here, this guy runs away and I chase and I find him hiding. We exchange damage and I make some space, but this is an edit I wouldn't have done in the past. It's such an instantaneous edit. I have no time to think about it. I just do it. And I do it because I'm sure I'm going to be able to hit this. And then I do. From here, I'm still playing confident. I'm sure I'm going to be able to hit my edits. And then I hit a fantastic Martaz edit to end the fight. That's something I probably wouldn't have set up if I wasn't playing as confident as I was after focusing on my crosshair placement. So this is that same same game, we're now in endgame and I'm boxed up below someone. And again, I'd like to stress, this is usually an aggressive play that I wouldn't do, but because I'm feeling so confident right now, I skull dash up to this guy and get a big hit on him. From here, I phased into his box, but he just has better ping than me and is able to get that stare every time and is able to escape with a shockwave. It didn't matter though, because once I rotated, I was able to clean him and another person up and get the win. I think it's so important to show this off because a 5 kill win gave me 21% in elite. So I'm telling you, fixing a bad habit will get you out of whatever rank you're in. You could literally be at 0% in one of these upper ranks and play 5 games like this after fixing a bad habit and you're out. Of course though, hitting edits doesn't mean a lot if you keep dying or getting really weak. And I actually made a video talking about how to win fights if you are really weak. So if you get shot, take a lot of damage, or get sniped before the fight even really starts, this is how to win those. Again, use code read the ninja if I've turned on a light bulb in your head throughout this video. Drop a like if you've enjoyed, and invest in the channel for more. Thank you for watching, and on that note, I'm signing off.